this school embraces the whole child. It works with them in a creative way, from the academic to the sport to the music, with a strong emphasis on pastoral care. I think the atmosphere is really happy, really buzzy. You go around the school, the children are engaged in learning, asking questions, taking a risk, embracing a challenge. All of the girls here have such a joyful nature and that comes directly from the staff. The relationship between the pupils and the teachers is one of mutual respect. We really value the girls as individuals, we get to know them as people and in return they appreciate being treated as individuals. The facilities here are absolutely incredible. We've got three computer suites, two large music rooms, we've got a theatre where we put on three shows a year, we've got the sports facilities, which is the AstroTurf, and just a range of other things outside in the playground, swimming pool over the road, it's just amazing. It's a school that's academic through and through, but we have really strong Christian values at its core. It's that being kind that permeates the school community. We are a very strong community. We're very lucky, we've got small class sizes with high staff ratios and we work on life skills from nursery all the way up to year six. As they get older, getting them ready for their transition into Headington Senior School. Headington really encourages girls to become the best learners they can be. They are given opportunities in a range of fields and subjects that allows them to really showcase their talent. Hello, welcome to the next in our event series where a selection of our pupils will be asking Jane Crouch, the head of prep, a few questions on your behalf. I hope you enjoy. How long have you been head teacher here? I've been head teacher here for just over six years. How old were you when you became a head teacher? I was in my 30s, early 30s, when I first became a head teacher. What attracted you to Headington Prep when you applied for a job here? I walked through the door and thought, wow, this is an amazing place. That's just the fabric of the place. And then as I walked round, I was shown around the classrooms and the corridors, met the staff, met the children, and I just love the rapport between the teachers and the children, that natural rapport, mutual respect, and the fact that the girls were just loving their learning. And I thought, wow, this is a place I would love to be. Do you like it here? I absolutely love it. I come through the gate every morning and never know quite what's going to happen, but just meeting the girls, smile on their face and ready for the day. What's your favourite thing about Headington Prep? It has to be the girls. It has to be the girls. It's just their energy, their vibrancy, they're so natural, and the way they come and they'll chat very openly about their learning and just what they've been up to. Where's your favourite place to be in school? There are so many places I love being in the school. The main thing is the contact with the pupils. So the corridors, because then I see all ages. And I suppose, especially the theatre, because in the theatre we have our assemblies, we're all together for those. And then it's also a place where the girls perform. And I love watching them on stage. So perhaps the theatre is my favourite place. What are the teachers like? Teachers are amazing here. It's a really strong community of staff. And the other thing, not only they're amazing people, but they are really skillful within the classroom and so progressive. So they're learning. We're all learning here. It's not just the girls, it's the staff as well. And I love that about them. What are the girls like here? They're very natural. They are very warm. They're enthusiastic. And they'll have a go at anything. Well within reason, they'll have a go at anything. They just love learning and they're great fun and really good company too. How many girls are here at Headington Prep? There are about 250 girls from nursery up to year six. How do girls get to school? Girls get to school by a whole range of methods so they might walk they might come by scooter if you look outside you'll see a range of scooters outside they might cycle come by car or take one of the buses as well one of the school buses what is your favorite lunch here at Headington 
I love all the food at Headington. It's really hard to think about what, what's the favourite. Um, Today I had salmon and I love the salmon and then all the salads as well. So that would be my favorite. And then I also love the fruit. They do such a fantastic selection of fruit and I love that too. Tell me something about you that other people in school don't know. I have a tortoise. What animal would you be? I love birds, watching them. Don't know very much about them but I would be a bird. And the reason I'd be a bird is just flying high and then looking down from above. I love the countryside, I love nature, so I'd be a bird. What is your favorite hobby? Well, it would be my bird watching. I go out and about, member of the RSPB, and I have my binoculars. So going out, looking at wildlife and walking. I just love walking. And we're so spoiled here by all the beautiful countryside around us. Have you ever broken a school rule? I'm not sure I should talk about that or answer that question. Um, but in current circumstances, I suppose the most recent thing I've done is gone up a down staircase. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? Hmm. Um, I suppose the most fun thing I've ever done, we used to do staff pantomimes at Christmas in another school and I was the white rabbit so I was dressed in a full white rabbit costume and there was no script so you had to ad lib and it was just, it was really really good fun working with the other teachers and seeing the children's response as the pantomime unfolded and the plot changed as we went through. What would you say to parents who are thinking of sending their daughter here? I'd say if you really value education and you want the best for your daughter, you want her to love her learning, you want her to have fun, be happy, be safe, then come here. If I'd been a child and been a pupil at this school, I would have loved it.